I'm shady I'm out of my mind, baby Uncle used to grind crazy Turned down to two a baby, yeah, yeah Try to keep my butt up Try to keep my head up Without getting wet up Niggas turn to hecklers But two vendettas I'm Conor McGregor They ain't even catch the arm ball Like that, imagine the, the Imagine the look You in the eye ring You in the eye You in the green You in the eye <gasps> You know you gotta dive into action on them. What's good, Screwface John? I'm chilling, huh? We hit 200,000 subscribers, bro. Huh? We hit 200,000 subscribers. Now, Slime Shady EP is out right now. It is my greatest piece of work. I need you to go stream that and go listen to that on iTunes, Google Play, wherever you listen to it. Today, and I got physical copies too, hit me up. Today, we got a new video. Now, you read the title. I did a reaction to Eminem's Oscar performance. Now, most people understood the impact of that moment and why that was a big moment. But I noticed some people didn't. And some people didn't understand why people were making such a big deal about that other than the fact that there was Eminem doing something. People just thought it was Eminem. So, I found this video here. Um, I think it's Hip Hop DX. Shout out to Hip Hop DX if you're not subscribed to their channel. Go check it out, you know, subscribe if you want to. Uh, we got us a little uh, explanation, so let's get it. Ready, set, go. Okay, guys, so check this out. Eminem made a surprise appearance at the 92nd Annual Academy Awards on uh -huh. May, February 9th, and basically confused everyone. Why is he here? Why is he performing Lose Yourself, a song that earned him an Oscar 17 years ago? And that's another thing. That's another big reason why I had to make sure my mic's on. Reason why I did this video, because a lot of people were asking, oh, let me get my BS detectors on. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. She might have hit me with some B. I got to run it back now. I got to run it back now. But a lot of people were wondering why lose yourself. And, you know, I even had some people be like, oh, Eminem had to perform an old song. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Why don't he don't do no new stuff? There was a, there's a reason, it's poetry on why he did Lose Yourself. There is an absolute reason why he did it and why it was so important, so. Okay, and why he specifically did that song. He made a surprise appearance at the 92nd Annual Academy Awards on Sunday, February 9th, and basically uh -huh. confused everyone. Why is Not he, me. Why is he performing Lose Yourself, a song that earned him an Oscar 17 years ago? Uh -huh. Why is Martin Scorsese sleeping during the performance? I am not going to hold you. Hold on. Run this back a little bit. Shout out to Martin Scorsese, man. Listen, people trying to kill my man. First of all, you can't kill Martin Scorsese. Let's let's stop with that. You know what I mean, no matter who your favorite rapper is or who isn't, Martin Scorsese is Martin Scorsese. You know what I mean? Goodfellas, Godfather. Let's just chill, chill. Shh. The Italian, shh, chill. The Irishman. Anyway. People were like, man, Martin Scorsese was over here falling asleep watching Eminem. Must mean Eminem is boring. Martin Scorsese is 147 years old. He ain't, he ain't really. But he is old. Huh? I'm pretty sure if that was his daughter's wedding, he would have fell asleep like that. <laughs> He's an old guy. Y'all act like y'all have no grandparents or something. During the performance, during a rare interview with Variety, Slim Shady explained why, after initially skipping and this is the important part. ceremony, he popped up all these years later to finally grace the Oscars with his presence. I kind of figured maybe since I didn't get a chance to do it at the time, maybe it would be cool, he said. Back then, I never even thought that I had a chance to win. Uh -huh. He just performed Lose Yourself on the Grammys with the Roots a couple of weeks before the Oscars, so we didn't think it was a good idea. And also, back at that time, the younger me didn't really feel like a show like that would understand me. But then when I found out I won, that's crazy. That, to me, shows how authentic and real that award is. When you don't show up and you still win, that makes it very real to me. Alright, that was a lot of information that he gave off right there, right? I didn't want to just read an article, read the Variety article, but that's basically what this video is about. Um... He said, I kind of figured maybe since it didn't get a I didn't get a chance to do it, maybe it would be cool. That's the first reason. Eh, just cool. Just some fun stuff he wanted to do. The next reason, uh, he thought that uh, he did the Grammys before it, so he didn't think that that was a good idea. I don't get that part. Why wouldn't that be a good idea? If I just did the Grammy, okay, because maybe the performance, he didn't want to put them so close. 
Okay, so I can see if his issue was putting the performances so close to each other and maybe not giving the best performance he could give. Understood. I get that. But maybe make the Grammy performance not... Because the one that he did now wasn't that crazy. Like, it was a dope performance, but it wasn't like the most... There was like fireworks and a bunch of different... He could have just done a performance like that. Imagine the... the Imagine the look. You in the eye, then you in the eye, you in the green, then you in the eye. But then the other thing that he said that I think is most important is he said he didn't think a show like that would understand him. And him winning, even though he didn't show up, showed to him that um, a show like that could be real. Now, here's what I'll say. The Grammys, if you perform at the Grammys and showed up to the Grammys... Oscars is the same thing. Let's keep it real. Oscars is the same thing. All right, let, let, let's keep it real. Lose Yourself, which was included on the soundtrack for 8 Mile, was released in 2002 as the lead single. The song was written and produced by M alongside Jeff Bass of the production duo Bass Brothers and Louise Resto. On the mm -hmm. night of the 2003 Oscars, okay. M wasn't concerned about red carpets, gilded trophies, or his nomination in the Best Original Song category. He was focused on taking care of his young daughter. Okay, so here comes the main reason. Let, here comes what he was doing because people don't realize that was a controversial moment when they announced Lose Yourself One and go back and watch it. I think it's Barbara Streisand announcing that Lose Yourself One. And then the people, like, there's like a little second where they're waiting for him to come up. And then some other dude comes up and accepts it on his behalf. So. And it's and it's 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 crazy because I'm pretty sure Eddie Murphy did something like this where he was supposed to host and he didn't and making the Academy upset at you it's not safe. I'm just telling you. So it's a real brave move to not show up. I think I was just at home with my daughter and I didn't watch it. Hold on, let me let this pass. My bad, y'all. It's loud as hell, boy. It's loud as hell. Let me run that back. My bad. This gilded trophies or his nomination in the best original song category. He was focused on taking care of his young daughter. I think I was just at home with my daughter, and I didn't watch it either. He recalled. At that point in time, Haley had to be at school early in the morning, so I was sleeping. Louise Resto, my keyboard player who produces records with me, went up and accepted it. And I know people were probably like, uh. oh, "Is this guy?" That's exactly what I was talking about. That's my initial reaction when I saw the footage and that guy woke up. I was like. Is that guy? But I think it's dope. It shows you what is most important to M because he remembers the fact that Haley had to be to school early that day. And that was years ago. Years ago. So it shows you the importance of Haley to him. And hey, if you're not at the Grammys, or I mean Oscars, you might as well be with your daughter. That's more important. I uh, respect it. So he called me, and I remember the phone kept ringing, and I'm like, Mother, I'm trying to sleep. But I answered, and he's like, hey, man, you won. I did? Cool. But that was a different time, and I was in a different place in my life. Shortly after the performance yeah. on Sunday night, the multi-platinum selling rap titan hopped on Twitter and relived the moment Barbara Streisand announced he won in jib form while thanking the Academy in the process. <laughs> Speaking of variety, M also talked about... Wait, wait, they kind of glanced over that tweet. That tweet was funny. Look, if you had another shot, another opportunity, thanks for it. So he's saying, like, you know, in the beginning, uh, lose yourself. Look, if you had one shot, and then he shows the picture of Barbara Streisand's face looking looking very confused on why Eminem's not coming up to accept this award. Oh. 
Wait, 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 wait. Who's his new? Her, he has an artist? Hold up. Mm. Young man. Griselda, baby. Hey, man. So now you know why it was important, the whole story. I hope I caught y'all up. I hope you understand a little bit more why that was such a big moment. You better. Slime Shady EP out right now. <coughs> y'all better go stream that, bro. Go stream that, bro. Physical copies, email me. Yeah.